Hello Disney fans and welcome to another haul video. I know I've been doing a lot of these and there will be more. Um, I'm gonna start with clothing and maybe I should start with what I'm wearing right now. I purchased this spirit jersey from the Flower and Garden Festival. Not during Flower and Garden, during Food and Wine. So it was discounted, it was 30% off and then I had my 30% discount that Disney is giving annual pass holders right now. So it was it was super discounted and I love it. So it seemed fitting that I would wear this one for this video. The next thing I got is this shirt that I knew I was going to buy when I saw it for the first time and I didn't. And now I can't find the right size. This shirt they didn't have everywhere. I saw it only maybe at two or three different stores and then all of a sudden I didn't see it anymore. And I was able to find it at Disney Style, which is located in Disney Springs. But they only had extra small, small, and 3X. And um, I, that was very sad because none of those are my size. And then one day I went back and they had medium. So I purchased medium and medium works well on me if it's a t-shirt. But when it's shirts, I need them to be a little bit bigger. But I went with it and I thought, you know what, I'm losing weight, I'll fit into it. And it turns out that I fit, I can't fit into it like um, the, like how can I explain this, like the body part. But the arms is where I have a problem. My arms feel too, it just feels too tight. So I don't feel comfortable wearing it, but like I said, I know that if I wait, I'll be able to wear it uh, soon or maybe the beginning of next year or something like that. So I'm just crossing my fingers. I have been back to the store three times after that looking for them and they do get other sizes every now and then but um, I'm looking for a large and um, the closest thing that I found the other day was 1x I think and it was too big I tried it on but it was too big wait I think I made a video about it I don't know I don't know if that video is I think that video is coming up first so you might have seen this and the whole story last week um, I found this at the character warehouse I could not believe that this was at the character warehouse because these were released at World of Disney not that long ago so I just I don't understand and I wanted this shirt when I saw it uh, but these are originally like $40 $36.99 you know with tax it's $40 and I thought that was too much and I I always have this super long wish list of things that I want to get so I didn't get it but I found out the character was they only had two and they were both small but these are men's sizes so um, if you are medium size, if you're a woman and you're medium, then you can fit into men's small. And um, it does work for me. So I'm very happy that I found it. It was $14, I think. So um, much better price. And then as I was paying for that one, I turned around and I saw this other one. And the colors just spoke to me. So I had to have it. Let me get you a closer look because it has all these colors inside and I usually don't like when they do Mickey with a different expression that is not like a happy Mickey but this one looks like Bart Simpson to me <laughs> and that's not Disney but I mean I think it is now isn't it because that's Fox and they bought Fox so <laughs> maybe it is Disney now but you know I just it was funny to me, I like it. And I especially love the color. Oh, this one, it said that it was, um, let me see if it has a price. Uh, it said that it was originally $24.99 down to $14.99 for the character warehouse, but when I went to pay, it was actually $9. That's awesome. Okay, ears, these, are new to the parks um they were released i want to say maybe like two or three weeks ago maybe like two weeks ago and they are called celestial let me give you a closer look and hopefully the light will cooperate 
and show that the stars are holographic. Hopefully you can see that. Now the ears are not exactly holographic. They're more like iridescent glitter and they show a lot of like pink and um, orange and purple on a back on on a black background and I love them they're super cute I really like them this is probably what I'm going to keep for the rest of the video <laughs> I hope you're okay with that more character warehouse stuff I purchased a um, pressed penny holder I love doing pressed pennies and I needed a new one so this one this one is beautiful some princesses there more princesses on the other side on the back maybe I should say and when you open it there's even more so this is just a quick view of the inside but let me show you the outside when it's extended like this and you can see there you go you can see all the princesses that they have and I love it especially for $3.99 I think that's a great price for that more character warehouse finds I got the official autograph book and this was originally $10 and I think it was $1.99 or, or $2.99 something like that and I love it because it has all the characters and I didn't necessarily need another autograph book but it has all the it has um the fat five and the four iconic buildings of each park so i had to have it this set of uh buttons i wanted this one because it says i'm here for the mickey bars and that's exactly how it used to be before I started keto. Now I make my own. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it in the description box. And this one says, I'm here for snacks. And I think it's spectacular. 99 cents for that. This uh, set of patches. Um, I'm thinking that one day I might do something with patches. So I've been looking at them. And I have been thinking about buying so many of them, but I always stay away just because it's like, oh, it's a project that I'm thinking about doing sometime in the future, but not right now. So maybe I should just stick to buying things that I want right now. But this one was $8.99 and I really like this patch, the Tiki Room one. Um, and Jungle Cruise, is, it's a favorite of mine since I was a little girl. I mean, what little kid doesn't like to go on a boat and see animals, even if they're not real? <laughs> I love it. And it's funny. So I found postcards and I, ooh, I just realized that I'm missing one. Okay, I'm going to show you this one and then I'll go grab the other one. This is a very sweet picture of a Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It was $1.99 and I purchased two to use um, in magic mail or something like that. I don't know yet. Let me go uh, get the other one because the other one is stunning. Okay, I found two more actually. I, I completely forget about this one. I'm going to save the best for last. So I'm going to start with this one. And it looks like just like Lion King postcard, but it has, it's made, um, with lots of doodles and you can find hidden characters and hidden stuff within the doodles so i'm going to show you for example oh uh, glare hopefully let me let me get my face out oh you know what i'm gonna move completely out of the way so that i can also see what i'm showing you <laughs> here is the what's his name suzu Okay, I can't remember, but the bird and Mufasa is here on the corner. Can you see it? And it also, I think it also says Mufasa somewhere. I don't know. And I think this is Nala here. And there's a hidden Mickey right here. And what else is there? Oh, Rafiki. Rafiki is here 
if you can see that. And uh, Simba as a cub is down here. Uh, Timon. What else? What else? I don't know. It says it says a pride rock here. And I mean, you, we can we can be here for hours looking at this and finding new stuff all the time. It's great. And then my favorite of the ones that I purchased is this Epcot one. And I showed a little bit of it in my uh, character warehouse video, but in case you didn't see that one, I'm gonna show you here. Oh, again, let me get out of the frame. And I have uh, Mickey Mouse here, and a Goofy is here, and a Pluto. My boy Pluto is here, and uh, Minnie Mouse is here, and what else? Oh, Figment! Figment is here on the corner, and it also says Figment, like along his belly, and... What else? It says Epcot here. It also says Orlando here. I'm trying to stay away from the angle that gives a glare. And Donald Duck is here and he is wearing his uh, mariachi hat. And then the boat is here. And then in the water, in the reflection of the water, it says um, like Germany, like all the pavilions. And then it also says some of the attractions, I think. Yeah, like test track and things like that. So it's very interesting. There's so much to see that I just love them. They really are works of art and you can frame them and put them somewhere. And the last two things that I have to show you are, this is so pretty. I know I don't need any more magic bands, but I love Minnie's design this year for the flower and garden festival and everything about this magic band is fantastic the box i love so the box i am going to be keeping look at how pretty it is and i open oh wait <laughs> i opened it the wrong way and there you go you can see it like, I, I do not need any more magic bands, but I do not have any in this color. So I think it's always great to have all colors so you can match with whatever. So let's take it out so I can show you what it looks like because it's so pretty. So one side has Spaceship Earth. Let me move away. Spaceship Earth and some flowers and Epcot's skyline of well not Epcot's but World Showcase and the other side yeah that's the thing when I move out of the frame for some reason it gets darker I light up the frame <laughs> and this side has a Minnie Mouse looking very pretty and it says flower and garden festival 2020 and it's so pretty it's really gorgeous i'm gonna put it on for the next like 30 seconds that i have left on this video <laughs> why not <laughs> i want to wear it i want i want to go to epcot now i mean i can wear it at any park of course but i feel like i should do it justice and go to epcot like this <laughs> The last thing that I purchased, I actually got from Hollywood Studios. So if you watched my um, last Hollywood Studios video, then what was it the last one? Well, if you watched all my videos, then you've seen this. Um, the Mickey Pumpkin headband or ear headband. I'm going to put it on. I love it. This one, however, it's a little weird, like it doesn't sit right, but that's... Well, I was gonna say that it's my fault because I didn't try it on and I... But with COVID and everything, like I think somebody didn't do their job when they were like uh, doing quality control <laughs> and the headband is not right, but whatever. Uh, this is not the um, ears that I'm gonna be wearing all year round, so it's fine. It's just for this time of the year. And um, actually I only have 
like for like two more weeks um i mean there's still like four weeks left uh, of this month like before halloween but i will be traveling so i only have two more weeks where i can wear this so it's fine it's okay and then next year <laughs> They will release new ears that I'm gonna get, that I'm gonna want to buy. So probably won't be using this too 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 much. So it's fine for a little bit. They're uncomfortable, but it's okay. <laughs> I love them. They are so pretty. I kind of wish that they would have done like one Mickey and one Minnie Mouse, but this is great. I love them so much. And that's it for now. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this video. And I have another haul coming very soon. So I hope you like haul videos. And I hope that it's not overwhelming for you that I'm posting so many haul videos and so much merchandise. But that's what I love. I mean, I love everything Disney, but the merch really gets me all the time. So I love going to the stores. I love showing that. I love sharing all the information about new releases and new products and sales and all that. So. I really hope that you are enjoying my channel and if you are, please subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot and that way I can keep bringing you this kind of content. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!